Hello and welcome back to the video. In today's DT video, we're going to show you how to use T, uh, 2D design software and create the silhouette for your lampshade. Okay, so the first thing that needs to, that you need to do is go to Firefly or wherever the teacher has sent you this file, which is the template. Okay, download a copy and make sure that you file save as and you know where you're saving it to. Okay. So if you need to pause the video and do that, do that now and then come back when you're ready. Fantastic. Okay. So then, so this is the template. Okay. The laser cutter will always cut any line that it sees. Okay. So actually in this example here, we've got two templates, which it can cut. Okay. The first thing we need to go, we need to do is find some suitable images from online, which we can use within our design. So let's come over, to, come over to Google Chrome, and for example, let's say we want to find pictures of a dinosaur, okay? Now, none of these will work, because what we need to do is convert it to a line drawing, okay? So it's always to be helpful to rather than search for, say, dinosaur, search for something such as dinosaur silhouette, okay? That gives you much more suitable resources, okay? Just a couple of things to note, uh, particularly with 2D design, if it's a PNG, Okay, then it won't be suitable. You can tell it's a PNG if it has a like a checkerboard background like this. So images like this won't work. All right. What you do want is something perhaps like this, which has got nice, uh, a nice bold outline. If it's got too much detail, it probably won't work. Okay. So for example, ones like uh, this down here probably won't be great. Or something like like this one here will be absolutely fantastic. Okay. So again, you can pause the video here. Spend some time and find your first suitable image. So once we've found our first image, we can right click, copy image, come back to 2D design, right click and press paste here. Now, contrary to, to the way you do most things in Windows, we don't click and drag uh, to resize an image, which is click, let go, now resize our image, and then click again to set the size. To move it, again, single click the yellow box in the middle. Now we can move our as asset to wherever we want it to be. Perhaps you might need to resize it again and click to set it. You can also have an experiment, see what the other tools around the edge do. And then just get them roughly in position with where you want them to be. Okay, so that's your next task. Pause your video here and then come back once you've got something that, that looks a bit like this. Great, okay. So what we need to do now is convert this to something which the laser cutter can actually understand. Okay, as before, the laser cutter will always follow lines and drawings. Okay, it doesn't know what to do with something like this. Okay, so there's two steps we need to do. The first thing is to select it, come up to bitmaps at the top, and come down to set black and white silhouette. If you want to, we can change the luminance and just see what it does to the edges here. But actually, in this case, it doesn't change it too much. We'll leave this in the middle. But the important one to select is background transparent. Press OK. And we can now see that it's removed the background. Pause the video here. Go do that quickly. And then our final step is to convert this to a line drawing. OK, so in fact, let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see it a bit better. Okay, so again, we need to select our item, come back to bitmaps, but this time down the bottom where it says contour bitmap. Okay, you'll recall from your geography, geography lessons, for example, a contour is just a line which follows a certain path around the outside. So we'll select that, okay, and we want to change five millimeters to zero. Okay, and I'll show you the difference as to what happens. When we press zero, press okay, and, and it will look like nothing's happened, okay? Two things to note. Firstly, if you've got this hand icon here, which says locate, change it back to the black arrow up here, okay? Now it has worked, but it's pasted the line drawing on top of the original dinosaur, so we can't actually see it. All you have to do, press it once, select and move, and now we can see our finished image, okay? All we have to do with this one here is, if you don't want it, to delete. Now, just to show, show you what, the, what happens if you change the contour sizes, for example, let's come back here and change it to 5 millimeters. 
press OK. Again, it's done a line drawing, but this time around the outside. Okay, so again, we can, let's move this one out of the way, press delete to remove it. So you can see the difference and how much detail we've lost in this case. Okay, so always set your contour bitmap to zero. As before, if we need to remove it or change it, rotate it, we can do so. The last thing you need to do is change the color so that the laser cutter knows to cut this. Okay, and all you have to do, again, select your item, come up here, see where my mouse is, where it says line color, not fill color, make sure it's on line color, and just change it to red. And there we go, that's all there is to it. Make sure that you save your work at regular intervals and then send the work to your teacher once it's complete.